Okay, I'm going to show you guys how I've been filming my time lapses on the GoPro and the iPhone as well. Right now I'm going to film this on the iPhone showing you how I do the time lapse on the GoPro and back a little ways because it's pretty windy out on the balcony so the sound quality won't be that great if I come closer. Um, but I'll try to explain what I'm doing pretty well. So go over till you get to time lapse video and I'm shooting in 4K resolution, intervals of 0.5 seconds in a field of view of wide. Then you want to hold down on the screen and along press until you get auto exposure to pop up. You don't want auto exposure though, you want to put it in locked exposure, so you need to get hit the arrow next to auto exposure until the locked exposure pops up. Pretty finicky to get the locked exposure to pop up, but then you just want to put the uh, lock in an area that kind of has a relatively mediocre color of the set that you're trying to compose and click the checkbox in the corner. Alright, now you're ready to record, so all you gotta do is hit the record button. Uh, the rule for time lapse is a rule of one thirds, so you want to have your picture about one third, sky or ocean, whatever you're trying to capture the most of. And also, uh, the rule of thumb is if the uh, video if, if the video is not worthy of a picture, it's probably not worthy of doing a time lapse. So this is a nice sunset kind of on the balcony. So this is uh, going to be a nice time lapse here. Okay, now I'm going to show you guys how I film the time lapse on the iPhone. Uh, one thing you definitely want to make sure is that you have a sturdy mount and the camera is not moving very much either. Um, so you want to go to your camera and then go to time-lapse mode and then you want to lock your screen. So you just hold down a long press on the screen and you can see it says AEAF lock. That's auto exposure, auto focus lock. Then all you have to do is hit your record button and it will start recording. Um, the key with the iPhone is anything over uh, 10 minutes it will start to cut down uh, two frames per second versus if you keep your video under 10 minutes it'll record at one frame every second so I've been trying to keep mine around uh, under 10 minutes and I can speed up the video later on if I really need to I'd rather have the more frame rates to be able to focus on another thing that I want to point out is if you want to change kind of like the ISO the color um, after you fix the focus and the exposure you hold down and where the sun kind of pops up over here on the corner of the yellow box, you can click that and drag either up or down to change the lighting from a brighter color to a darker color. Another thing to note is that the iPhone 7 films its time lapse in 1080, so you don't get the 4K quality out of it but it's still pretty good quality. Thanks for watching and make sure you hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. Also make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next videos I will be posting and leave your questions, comments, and suggestions below.